Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlickers, shills, serfs, peasants, death slaves, enemies of the state, and others. I am a useful idiot, and my topic is HR 347, or the Federal Restricted Buildings and Grounds Improvement Act of 2011. Um, it's no surprise to those paying attention that this is another step in a very rapidly assembling police state in the United States of America. Um, like all of this legislation, of course it has this cryptic name, the Federal Restricted Buildings and Grounds Improvement Act of 2011. And essentially what it does is it makes it a felony to participate in many forms of protest. So this complements the NDAA very well and all the other police state legislation that seems to be flying through Congress. Um, and once again, um, it passed in the House of Representatives 388 to 3. We can all guess who one of those three House of Representatives members were. Ron Paul voted against it, of course. All the Democrats were on board. So here's yet another example that the Republicans and the Democrats, supposedly two different parties, continually stand shoulder to shoulder to shaft the American citizen and assemble the police state as well as uh, engage in foreign adventures. Um, they can drag their tails for weeks, months, and years for all sorts of other legislation, but they're really good about this Homeland Security police state stuff. So this is obviously a uh, reaction to the Occupy Wall Street movement, um, far more threatening to the elites than the Tea Party was for some reason. And I guess because it's global, um, it's very confrontational and ongoing. So this is the government's reaction to that. And it's a, quite, a, quite a piece of legislation, the central provision makes it a criminal offense to enter or remain in an area designated as restricted. So as you can see, the, wor the wording is so broad um, and vague that what can, can be considered restricted um, is almost unlimited. And it also criminalizes conduct that, quote, impedes or disrupts the orderly conduct of government business or official functions and, quote, obstructs or impedes ingress or egress to or from any restricted building or grounds. So once again, just like in the, ND, in the NDAA um, and much of the police state legislation, the, the language is so broad and vague that it's going to be used to apply to just about everything. Um, and the standard punishment under this new law is a, is a fine and up to one year in prison, which of course increases if there's other factors involved. So anyway, I wanted to bring this to everyone's attention because of course there's a, a media blackout. Congress rushed it through. Not much discussion of it. Discussion of it. Um, I ba barely heard about it myself. And uh, a complete and obvious affront to the Constitution and the First Amendment, specifically in the right to assemble and freedom of speech. So here we go, folks. H.R. 347, the Federal Restricted Buildings and Grounds Improvement Act of 2011, another major plank in the assembly of the American police state. 